Hey Capricorn, welcome to the Grace of Thrones. If this is your first time, if this is not, welcome back. I do appreciate you, all right? All right, so this is going to be what's shifting for you. We have a full moon coming up, so I like to get people ready for the full moon to help you reset, recharge, and get your next, you know, your next uh, cycle going on, the next 30 days, 28 days cycle. And, you know, right, okay? And the full moon is all about releasing what, you know what I'm saying, what no longer serves you all right and getting your rest all right and recharge and replenishing yourself all right so we're going to start off to see capricorn with the shape shifting oracle to see what's shifting for you all right at this time it is of significance for you all right um and sometimes the messages um also is is sometimes what i'm hearing is like a, a warning or a heads up so you know, pay attention, even if it's something that you, that you may not have already gone through or going through right now, it's something you need to know, to look out for, to be aware, so when it comes, you're not caught off guard, you know what I mean? All right, so. Go ahead and make sure you're doing your clearance, you know, your cleansing, in any shape or form, whatever you do to cleanse yourself, cleanse your space, even if that's like, you know, cleaning up shop, or, you know what I'm saying? Who you got in your circle? Who you? Because everybody' motive ain't pure. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. All right, so it's a lot of outside noise. You could be dealing with a lot of outside noise. All right, um, and, and and people interrupting your flow, calling you, calling you. All right, I have the angel number thirty. Let me see what that means for your Capricorn. All right, I'll tell you what I pick up intuitively. I actually read. I don't know what you think, I'm just, you know, because it's good to read, you know, when, when, when it comes to, like, higher knowledge and also evolution, because spirituality is not just about flipping some cards, and it's also about reading, you know, right? Knowledge, knowledge is key. That's what's going, that's the true um, freedom to this life. So let me go ahead and see what, uh, ooh, trilogy all right and it's crazy because this 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 card this this card says the black cat all right so a black cat can be as significant as that black cat is about good luck so express some good luck and i see a scarecrow i think your spirit team gonna scare some people off all right you could be seeing some crows too and you will see some crows on confirmation this message your spirit team gotta scare some people do something to scare some um people off from messing with you or messing with your car crops your harvest all right we have lost magic, atonement, and rebalance. And it's crazy because of the uh, angel number 30 is in significance to trilogy, which is mind, body, and spirit grow stronger together. So getting yourself in alignment, which is talking about a rebalance. So something could have knocked you off balance in some way, shape, or form, and now it's time to get back into balance. You get what I'm saying? Now. So your efforts to strengthen the bond between these parts of you are fortifying your connection with the divine and creating a brilliant reality. So nurture all parts of yourself today in a ritual of connection. So I, I get breathing exercise will help you. Just take the time to really breathe. Don't rush your choices at this time. Nurture all parts of yourself today in a ritual connection, meditate and picture a brilliant white light running through you. Ooh, I feel like you could be dealing with some 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 dark forces on or in a um, alignment with some, some energies that's heavy. That's why we're just saying to get everything into alignment and make sure you are creating that that space and a pathway, creating links and pathways of communication between. Your mind, body, and spirit is going to help you bring a white light through you to, to, to counteract any negativity that you could be dealing with or that could be being sent towards you. You know, right? Remember that energy is wireless. So sometimes you could be feeling the way and you don't realize that, you know, you're dealing with some outer forces that may have nothing to do with you, but yet you're in this realm. The spirit wants you to, you know, get into alignment, all right? and meditate and bring in that white light towards you. So let's get into the message of this oracle. All right. All right. 
If anything in this message resonates with you, I do appreciate your support by like, share, subscribing, following if you haven't already. Okay, help me as I help you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, so, the black cat. Someone in your life has tried very hard to be harsh and to scare away the loneliness and pain inside him that has led to his callous words and cruelty. She has spoken ugly things because she has not yet owned the scars and pains inside herself. He has tried to inflict others with similar cares so he doesn't feel alone or so alone. It's a misery that love company, be careful now. All right, so, but it is time now to see that although the scarecrow can be put up, the laws of karma cannot be denied. I just made a video for that, so you might wanna check that out. All right, the raven will land. Oh, so this is a raven. All right, some of you guys see a crow, some of you will see a raven. All right, a crow or a raven. So the, the raven will land and the law will be done. The truth will come out and an apology will be said. The little forlorn one in the painting will be cared for again. And the magic of her black cat familiar will return. All right, so some type of good luck that maybe you have now somebody tried to play with a taint, it's gonna be returned to you, all right? And one, and the one who is the scarecrow will only have the comfort, the cold comfort of karma to look forward to unless she softens and accepts that she is worthy of forgiveness too. All right. So let's go into the tower for you now. Let's get some tower messages for you. Let's see what's going on. doing you guys a uh, read first because um I got the most views and likes from you guys. So whoever shows the most views and likes is going to do first going forward. Alright, I gotta put the energy out where it's being, you know, given. Alright, where it's being reciprocated. True words. Alright. Wow. So we have 21, the Archangel Michael, a job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude the path toward enlightenment. That's what you're focused on, all right? That's, that's That has been your, your quest, all right? That's what you've been focused on, advancement, all right? The number 21 talks about advancement. You are about to level up. The next step is coming, so prepare yourself to receive it. Think of what you need to release in order to do so. Write it down at the next full moon either burn it or bury it and fill the space open up for what is next all right all right so this is a challenge for you but this is also you know challenges could be good don't look at the negative look at the positive side of it all right we have the number 12 which is the reverse of 21 isn't that crazy we have Archangel Gabriel, an awakening, all right? Right now, this is what this, this is this. You're going through an awakening and you're being asked to look at things from a different perspective. There could be a temporary standstill, um, but it's important to be yourself at this time, all right? Let me see number, what number 12 is saying for you, all right? Angel number wise, support, all right? When you take the next step, know that you are not alone. Life has sent you new opportunities and now is the time to embrace them with faith that you will be supported. The things that come your way are for your highest good. All right, so reflect on how you've been helped by the unseen forces, all right? Mm -hmm. They better stop messing with you. You got some un un unseen forces that's backing you up in your life and sit in the profound realization of how support comes in many forms. So, gonna have uh, support coming in many forms for you oh we have the three of earth right okay and you know you're an earth sign so the uh, the outcome right, right that's for you is the power of create creativity recognition for your very high quality work and to be a team player 
all right? You're being asked to be a team player. At the bottom deck, you have the eight of earth. So you're focused on your craft, your skills. At this time, okay, your skilled work is rewarded, all right? And um, all there is to know about a topic is what you guys could be learning and studying right now or whatever you are skilled at, all right? Some of you guys could be actually going back to school, but you focus on your craft at this time. You know, the form is about surrendering. So let's see what you need to surrender. And then um, I'm gonna pull on the Moonology decks for you, being as we go out. This is the full moon message, all right? Cause the recharge is so I have to make sure I recharge myself before I can go ahead and give y'all messages. Cause hey, I can't help you working on myself now. I'm gonna make sure to recharge, plan, sleep, get rejuvenated, organize, and come back to it, y'all. Okay, what does Capricorn need to surrender? Surrender your addictions, all right? Whether you're Addicted to something substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternate alternatives. All right, for alter alternatives. Excuse me, alternatives. Alternatives. I'm trying to get that word out. <laughs> there we are. All right, surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and non and, and not act, all right? Simply breathe and focus on your own power and let others come to you. Look at this. Take a picture. Take, take a look at this. Chill out, all right? All right? So we want you to chill. Let's get one more on here. Surrender to creativity. Isn't that crazy? Because that confirms the three of earth, right? Three of pentacles. Let your imagination soar and stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem, all right? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for soul growth. So embrace your lesson in every moment. All right, so let's get the Moonology information out here. Let's see what's going on here. All right, we have a dark moon. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. We have moon in Taurus. Now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters. We have new moon. The time is right for seeking new opportunities. We have moon in Virgo. Issues surrounding health and exercise may come to the fore. Focus on your physical well-being, all right? Blue moon, now is a powerful time to set long-term goals and sow seeds for the future. And we have full moon. All right, take time to relax, recharge, and replenish your inner strength, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have wolf. Beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. All right, so let's go into this monology. appreciate all your support. If anything in here resonates with you, help me as I help you and help the channel and the platform grow and get out to more people like yourself. All right. And uh, just go ahead, like, share, subscribe, comment, you know. I appreciate it. And that also let me know too that you guys like the content. All right. Right, Ex confirmation, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So expect powerful changes. 
Look at that. What do you need to release? Waning moon. Mm -hmm. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Emotions are running high, super moon. All right, that's what you're just saying. Don't let you uh, be aware of letting your wild instincts out of control and bringing that balance of mind, body, and spirit at this time. Especially when you're analyzing those around you, you could pick up on some things and it might, you know, I'm spirit don't want you to wild out. Just be aware, act accordingly, all right? So conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Aha. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus, and luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, I have be bold and make the first moon, cardinal moon. Cardinals are usually about endings, necessary endings in order for a new beginning, all right, for your highest good. All right, so let me grab a fortune for you. All right, so I have a yogi message for you, which is walk beautifully, talk beautifully, and live beautifully, all right? All right, it says, wherever you go, whenever you can, try to live, try to leave a gift. All right, your lucky numbers are 26, which is about prosperity and great fortune, all right? Uh, and money flow that's coming into you, all right? Number 38, number two, number 23, 27, and 50. And I have the ultimate test of a relationship is to disagree, but to hold hands. Oh, my hand is scratching too. All right, all right. This could be issues around money or things around money too. So maybe there could be some disagreements around money, maybe. But there's something that could be done. So just meditate on it and, and, and analyze and do what you gotta do. Lucky numbers are 35, 36, 12. Remember 12. Is about the awakening for you, all right? Which is look at all things from a different perspective, and there could be a temporary standstill, but it's important to be yourself, all right? And 10, uh, which is a completion of a cycle, five and six, all right? It could be chaos or creativity, but balance and nurturing yourself um, is important at this time, all right? So thank you for being here. Um, be blessed, be great, and stay protected, Ashe. Uh,